<clears throat> okay, good morning everyone, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about choosing a word. Uh, years ago, uh, oh, 20, 25 years ago, I used to teach <clears throat> prosperity principles. I used to have groups teaching uh, prosperity principles. Uh, and one of the things that we did is uh, to choose a word a year. Uh, and it is, uh, you know, the title of this is Choosing a Word a Year to Grow in Grace. Now, when you choose a word, uh, you know, it's about learning to live by your word, live by that word, uh, and uh, focus on the word all year. Uh, and if you you know, it's about staying intentional. It's about remembering, staying conscious about it. Uh, and uh, all of your decisions, your goals uh, should uh, be around, guided by the word, your word and uh, that you choose. And really, like I said, be intentional about it. So, oh, we've got a man in the picture. Good morning, George. We were wondering where all of our guys went. Good morning to you. Uh, so it's uh, choosing a word like I've been doing this for I don't know it might have been 30 years I can't remember a long time I will choose a word a, a year <clears throat> and uh, last year I chose kindness and uh, you know I am much kinder today than I've ever been in my life but there's been a period of my t uh, life that you know, I was so angry, uh, you know, before I had worked on all of my uh, issues of the past, and I went around with a chip on my shoulder, and so I wasn't always the kindest person. Uh, and for some reason or other, I chose kindness this year. Uh, and I have loved it. I have loved uh, using the word kindness. And of course, I haven't been able to get out a whole lot, but when I do, uh, especially with service people, service people uh, with, I mean, on the front lines anywhere, whether it's at the, you know, doctor's office, dentist's office, eye doctor, you know, I go to the same doctors that I've gone to forever, and there's a woman at the eye doctor's office that she just always uh, has not ever been very pleasant, and so I made a decision when I went for that eye doctor appointment to really just treat her with kindness. And and it really worked. You know, everyone's walking around with a burden. Everyone has their own problems. And we never know. We never know. Uh, and so we judge them by that first impression that uh, when we see. And uh, so anyway, I've been doing this kindness. And uh, like it, you know, I don't get out a whole lot, but on Tuesdays I do run errands and I do it very safe. Uh, and so the checkout people, you know, they're worn out and I go to great lengths to be kind to them and talk with them, you know, thank them about, you know, what they're doing. Uh, and then I will look at the manager. If they're extra, if they're doing their job extra good, I will look at the manager and uh, tell him, I mean, I'll give him or her uh, and give him that person's name. Uh, and uh, we had gone to my children. My daughters had taken me to Fort Worth uh, for my birthday on Friday. And we did eat at a restaurant and we ate outside and it was separate. It was very safe. One of the few restaurants I've been in, you know. Uh, and we had a wonderful woman that waited on us. And it was crowded and all <clears throat> and this doesn't make me wonderful uh, but I made it a point to go inside with my mask and find the manager and uh, tell her about uh, what a good uh, uh, weight staff she had in that woman and so all of that takes a little bit of effort and uh, and you know it doesn't take that much but it's uh, like I said so kindness has worked for me because this year because you know we pretty much get back whatever we put out I've noticed with those uh, people who work on those uh, you know running those cash registers and I, I used to do that I mean that was one of the first jobs I ever had uh, was checking groceries at M system there used to be M systems here in Odessa and it's a hard job 
because people come in there harried, they come in there in a hurry, they come in there with problems, uh, and sometimes they're not nice uh, to the people who are waiting on them. So uh, you'll be amazed at when you start using kindness or any of your words uh, with other people, the response that you will get. So I want to uh, share with you a little bit about how to maybe choose a word if you're interested in choosing a word for the year. And we'll talk later. I'd like to hear from you if any of you have ever done that in the experience that you've had. So one of the things, if you are interested in choosing a word for the year, before you do that, invite God into it. Just ask him to uh, reveal to you the word, you know, uh, and just be open and be stay conscious about when you start choosing a word. But invite God into it first. Uh, and then, second thing you do is uh, think about what you want to do this year. You know, we've all been shut in, shut down, all of that. And as the our world opens up, or as our cities, our towns, our countries open up, we're going to be able to do more things, you know, uh, more activities. So really give that some thought. What do you really want to do this coming year? So write that out and, you know, write a paragraph about it or, to, or two or whatever about what you want to be doing this coming year. That's number two. First thing, invite God into finding, uh, to reveal to you the word that uh, he might want you to have for this year. Uh, and then the third thing is think about what do you want to accomplish? Now, and I'm going to be talking about this on the 29th, about how resolutions don't work. You know, resolutions are like diets. We go, we make them and we go on them so we can go off of them. Uh, and so this is really not about making a, uh, a big resolution to do anything. But the third thing is, what do you want to accomplish this year? You know, is there something specific that you would like to accomplish? Maybe in your work, maybe if you don't work, you'd like to go to work, maybe some volunteer work. Give it some thought. You don't just randomly think that, but what would you like <clears throat> to uh, accomplish this year? What would you like to accomplish this year? And then uh, the fourth thing is what are your needs? What do you think in the coming year, what are your needs? What are your needs? Uh, and, you know, there's been people out of work. There's been people, uh, we all know, I don't have to describe all that to you. Uh, many people's worlds have shifted. They don't look anything like they did, you know, uh, like in March. And so that fourth thing is, what do you really need for yourself this year and your family? Write a paragraph about that. Uh, and then the fifth thing, uh, is there anything in your recovery that you need to tune up? <laughs> you know, uh, one of the things uh, for me is I'm excited and anxious to get back to face-to-face -face meetings. And right now I want to go to a meeting a day or three meetings a day. I'm missing them. I want to go. I want to hear all of the readings done. I want to hear people talk. And so, you know, for one of the things, meetings are for me. But for you, uh, is there anything about your own recovery that you need to focus on? Do you need a tune-up? Do you have you uh, relapsed this year? Have you picked up another addiction? You know, addicts, you know, an addict is an addict is an addict, and we may recover in one addiction and then look around twice and we're into something else. So look at that and see what is the, if there's anything that you really want or need to do about uh, improving or working on your recovery. And, you know, if you haven't, if you don't sponsor people, if you haven't ever sponsored people, give that a thought because whatever we have if we don't give it away we cannot keep it so that might be something uh and <clears throat> and then uh focus in that on uh self-care i mean for one of the things is 
in uh, folks and on about your recovery uh, is about self-care comes under there. Sometimes, you know, we can trade an addiction, a substance or a process addictions uh, for activity addiction. You know, in recovery, I see it all the time. I did it and I see other people doing it. Uh, you know, in particularly early recovery, we want to get everything done right now. Everything that we didn't get done, we want to do, we want to do, and we can quickly become a human doer. Uh, so watch that, that uh, about, it. you know, is that something in your recovery that you might want to look at that you are maybe overdoing? Uh, and then the sixth thing is look at everything that you have written down. Uh, and see, you know, because you're going to come out with, what, five paragraphs, and at least five paragraphs. I'd really encourage you to journal about this and write about it, and then go back through them and see if there's any recurring words in there, if you're seeing anything uh, that will ring a bell to you or that just really jumps out to you. Uh, and if there is a word... Uh, that you keep, you know, repeating and repeating that you have written out. Uh, and so, whatever words you choose, whatever word you choose, let that be your focus for this year. Now, that sounds real easy. Well, just focus on that word. And the minute some of us hear focus, we don't focus, you know, and we, we, we can forget. We'll put that on the back burner. Oh, well, I'll do that later. This is about intention, being intentional and staying conscious, uh, you know, like the kindness. And I know uh, one year my word was uh, humor. And, uh, and to be around, you know, I mean, I love to laugh. I love to laugh. And, uh, you know, but I can get, you know, uh, very serious very quick. So I spent a year really focusing on humor and finding humor in everything. So each word is going to bring a lot of awareness to you. Uh, so be careful about the word that you choose. But whatever word you do choose, focus on it. Focus. Write it out. You know, put it around in, the, in your house where you can uh, remember what the, the word is. Uh, and then live by your word. We can have a word till hell freezes over. Uh, but if we don't take any action about it, you know, it's just a word. So begin to live by that word. Like I was talking about the kindness, you know, if that's your word, then be kind to all everyone you meet. Be kind. Uh, if you're choosing fun, guess what? Have some fun. Incorporate fun into your life. And, you know, I'm looking at the screen. I know uh, most of you pretty well, and some of you are, I mean, are workers. You are workers, 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 and it's hard to work, uh, to work, but to put uh, fun in there. But I want to give you a list of words that, uh, that might be helpful. And there's all kinds of words out there, you know, there's words. But one of the uh, words that I had one year was to dream. You know, if we don't have a dream, we'll never have a dream come true. And, you know, you dream, one of the things about dreaming, uh, and I don't mean to go to sleep and dream, I mean, uh, you know, in uh, OA, it's, you know, uh, the founder of OA talked about and wrote a book called Beyond Our Wild, or that's at the end of OA meetings, Beyond Our Wildest Dreams. You know, but, uh, and have a dream that is not beyond what you and God can do. Dream, dream big. Uh, and focus on, you know, some things in the future that you might think that would never happen and you will be surprised. Uh, and then, um, you know, some of you, although through this pandemic, I think most of us are pretty rested up. If not, if you're not rested, that might be your word. Maybe you need to rest. Or maybe you learn, need to learn to be 
uh, live in balance. You know, most addicts are all or nothing people, and so balance might be your word. Uh, maybe uh, fearless. Maybe you live in fear all the time. You know, constant fear. Maybe that could be your word, fearless. Uh, trust. If you, uh, you know, or not, one of the ways... <laughs> You know, if we're not trustworthy, we are going to find other people that are not trustworthy, you know. And so trust is about, you know, around here we say trust the process. Well, the process is inside of each of you or each of us. Uh, and so it's about trusting your what comes up for you. You know, trust that. Uh, and then here's a big one that I... You, that I had one year, and I really had wished that I hadn't chosen this because uh, I'm not the, I am getting much better, than, but I have, have always kind of suffered from a little bit of impatience. You know, I want everything done now or, you know, whatever. So patience one year was my word. And if you're going to focus on patience, <clears throat> just be aware there's going to be uh, some things come up in your life that's going to be your classroom to learn how to be more patient. Uh, discipline is a good one. Uh, you know, sometimes addicts can maybe be disciplined in one area and not another. So that could be a word. And then creative. I'll tell you, there's some folks on this screen that's very creative. And but we get busy in our lives and all, and let that that creativity go to the side. Maybe that what that might be your word to create something this year. Confidence, and here's another one: gratitude. I had that was about word for one year. Honest, uh, you know. The big book of Alcoholics Anonymous tells us that anyone, anyone can recover if they have the capacity to be honest with themselves and others and the God of their understanding. So honesty is a big one. It's, it's a big one. Uh, and then empowered. Maybe you need to be empowered. That's a good word. Uh, or maybe you need to simplify. Maybe if your life is so crowded, you know, I'm looking there at Jackie, and that's they've spent it this year simplifying their life. Uh, and that is so hard for some people they say they want to, and they're going to downsize, they're going to do this, they're going to do that. And it's real hard sometimes to turn loose of stuff. Uh, and I hope Jackie doesn't mind, but I've been watching, you know, them. They had, they made the decision. They were, uh, we were up there uh, in uh, uh, Kentucky about a year ago for a wedding, and I heard both them, her and her husband talk about they were going to simplify. And guess what? They did. They said, we're going to put our house on the, on the market. And they did. They sold all their furniture. I mean, they kept their word to themselves, and they simplified their life. That might sound real simple, but you know we all have our stuff, our stuff, and sometimes it's hard to turn loose of our stuff. So, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm giving you an applause, uh, Jackie. You've set a good uh, uh, pattern for us. And then uh, one that I had one year and uh, was travel. And I'll tell you, I've traveled all the time. Uh, I've already chosen a word for the year, but I want to. I want two words. I also want to travel. <laughs> so uh, anyway, travel's a good one. Uh, and then being healthy, having purpose, believe. You know, just to believe. You know, Bill W. was a master of the English language, uh, and he would, he always said that to believe is to have a suspicion something could happen. So, you know, when you're dreaming, that may not be your word, but if, you know, whatever you are doing, believe what you are doing that is good for you. Uh, just have a suspicion that it's going to work out and invite God into it. And uh, I'll tell you how you know if something is not in God's will, if those doors keep slamming in your face, slamming in your face, slamming in your face. 
You know, God answers to me. I mean, what I've heard, I don't hear a booming voice, but it's usually yes, no, and not now, you know. So think about <coughs> uh, that, so about believe. And then compassion, just to, maybe that could be your word to just have more compassion. Don't we all need it in today's time? We all need compassion. Uh, and then determination. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's not always easy to recover. It's not always easy to do the right thing, to do the next right thing. It takes a lot of determination, a lot of determination to recover or to do anything. And then there's grace. You know, grace is uh, about a gift from God. Grace is, uh, there's uh, several definitions for grace. Uh, but living in grace is, uh, it's about, I think, a lot of these combined. Grace is all, I mean, a lot of this in a nutshell. Uh, and then uh, another word is blessing. You know, being a blessing to someone this year, uh, or to yourself, to your family. And so uh, I'll end then with integrity. Uh, integrity is about keeping our word and I've, I've shared this before uh, and this was right after we opened 33 years ago or whatever uh, and I was uh, you know in my codependency or in the past when I would commit to do something I mean that would sound like a great idea and I'd be all for it but you know when it would come time to do it I might not want to do that and I found a way to get out of it. So I had been asked to go speak at a conference, a pretty large conference. And uh, I just kind of decided I didn't want to do that. The fear came up is what it was, a lot of fear. Uh, and so my executive director at the time looked at me and she said, you are going to that conference. She said, if you back out now she said you will never have any integrity in this field integrity is about keeping your word whether you want to do it or not so she taught me a big lesson about integrity it's just as simple about keeping our word and one of the things that I learned from that is I you know in the midst of my codependency I would never say no I never said no to anyone. Yes, I can do that, yes. And then I'd get all overloaded. And then, like I said, if, you know, when it came time to do it, I'd be like, why in the world did I commit to doing that? And then I wouldn't want to do it. And so one of the things that I learned through through integrity is to uh, be have some uh, discernment about what I would say yes to. And that no is a complete sentence, and it's okay to say no. <clears throat> or not now, you know. So those are some ideas of how to choose a word uh, and uh, then, you know, really why to choose a word because the re purpose of it is, I do believe, is to help you stay focused on some th things that you might want to accomplish this year. Uh, and here's some uh, words that there's lots of words to choose. And don't be in a hurry to do it. Uh, you know, the first of the year is coming around, but you've got some time. So do the writing, see what shows up. Uh, if there's any word that keeps showing up and showing up and showing up, that might be your word. Uh, so let's open it up and see, have any of you done this uh, before? Uh, have you chosen a word of the year? If you have, give us your experience. Are you uh, thinking about doing it? And what would be the benefit of choosing a word? So let's open it up. Who would like to talk about choosing a word for the year?